Thomas Markle believes it was for the best that Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, didn't attend the coronation of King Charles. He told the Mail on Sunday, it was for the best that she stayed at home. There are too many disagreements between Meghan, Harry and the royals. It was wonderful to watch the good people of Britain welcome their new king and queen. In P. Dina's new interview with Thomas Markle Sr., Meghan's father also shared shocking secrets about her birth process. The truth is starting to ooze out. P. Dina asked him if Meghan ever had female issues about having children someday. Thomas replied, Well, the bottom line, I know for a fact that she'd frozen her eggs and had planned to come back, and she comes back to get her eggs. I'm assuming that she had Archie. In addition, Harry and Meghan went to Canada in November and were over there for two months and announced they were pregnant with Lilibet in February. The timing adds up with the rumours of a fertility clinic in Canada. Before, Samantha also said that her father, Thomas Markle, verified that frozen eggs were picked up in Los Angeles in July, which unsurprisingly was nine months before Archie was allegedly born. Samantha said a surrogate mum was probably used based on evidence she saw. No issue with surrogacy or IVF or whatever you have to do if you want babies, but she told lies about it. Lots of feminists strongly oppose commercial surrogacy. Lies to the public is one thing, not our place to know. However, if she deceived the monarch in the innermost circle on this, it's another story, as it falsely interferes with the line of succession, currently legally, and its implications. I'm wondering if this is the reason why Lady C calls it Megnancy, or Megnant, referring to opting surrogacy. Lady C can be a bit dramatic sometimes, but she's well connected. She's also very familiar with the law. She worked for a brother's law firm when he first started it back in the day. She's also navigated more than one defamation lawsuit against the media herself. So she knows how to play within legal bounds as far as defamation is concerned. She knows exactly how much she can say or imply and wouldn't be hinting at things like a surrogacy if there wasn't any truth behind the claims. It comes as Mr Markle said in an interview for the Australian news programme 7 News Spotlight that his daughter had not called him in four years. He'll not allow his daughter to bury him while he's still alive. He said that he suffered a severe stroke last year and expressed disappointment at Meghan's failure to reach out. If she doesn't turn up for a stroke, if that doesn't move her, what will? Meghan already has a strained relationship with the father and it came to a head in 2018 when he collaborated with the paparazzi to stage photos before a wedding to Prince Harry. Meghan spoke of a relationship with the father in her and Harry's Netflix documentary Harry and Meghan, which aired earlier this year.